on this video and welcome to lazy cooking with Sabrina and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to be cooking a breakfast casserole super easy I mean all my recipes is easy y'all y'all know what it is y'all it's a lazy cooking that's what it is anyway y'all this is super this was a hit just let me let me just tell you this was a kid the crew loved it and I hope you guys love it too and if you do please do not be stingy with this channel definitely go ahead and share like subscribe comment because all that stuff helps out my channel enough of the plug let's get into the recipe all right first I'm gonna start with my pan I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and I diced up some red bell peppers and all the pretty bell peppers um if you just like green do you boo but i like the colorful ones so hey hey boom boom so i'm gonna cook these up i am going to put some slap your mama seasoning in there i'm also going to put some what was it some garlic powder and onion powder just to let y'all know I do not uh, measure my food I season my food to taste so do you boo boo whatever works for you so once those are cooked down a little bit I'm then going to put um, some turkey sausage in there I use the spicy one but hey if you want to use the pork one whatever whatever you you woo woo so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cook this all up get it all down because I'm going to actually be cooking this in my crock pot then I cracked about probably about a dozen of eggs and I used about a, a splash of milk I'm talking about maybe two to three tablespoons of milk I seasoned my eggs with some salt and pepper I seasoned my eggs to taste as I told y'all times before and then I am going to beat those eggs like they stole something and then I'm gonna set them to the side All right, I grease my pan up, um, and or you can use the little crock pot filler bag things. Do you? I put a bag of some hash browns in there that you get in like the little refrigerator section. I'm then going to put my little meat and pepper mixture right on top of that. Kind of spread that out, make it all even. Do not mix it; just spread it out. Then I'm going to pour my egg and mixture. Make sure you get it all around it because, you know, we want to get in the crooks and crannies. And if not, it's going to get be crunchy on one side and not going to taste right. It's going to be nasty. Then, of course, I'm going to top it off with some cheese because I'm a cheesy family. We are a cheesy family and we love us some cheese. So I'm going to sprinkle me some cheese on top. And this is perfect to make the night before, just to let you know. And then I'm going to set it, my timer to... Um, low at eight I want to say eight hours and voila in the morning your breakfast is ready to go look at that smelling so good looking so delicious um, and yeah here you go I served on the side with some biscuits and some fruit and I could told you my kids absolutely loved it um, if you guys did try this recipe out definitely go ahead and let me know definitely tag me in your photos I'd love to see them I appreciate all your love and support I'll catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah.